You may remember the linebacker number 33, David Wazinski, as the extremely talented football player and captain at Catholic Central when he was just a sophomore. Just a week before his passing, in his sophomore year, he was getting offers and recommendations from coaches at multiple universities. From the outside, David was a humble, hardworking, and gifted athlete. But to close friends and family, he was much more than that. He was like just a fun person. I mean, he had a lot of fun in life. He had a very sophisticated sense of humor for being so young, and he was a character. Uh, he just just made things happy. Last year, the first annual golf outing in memory of David was created to support various charities, and Barbara and Paul are forever grateful for the community's love and outreach. An outpouring of love and support and, uh, and, and so many people praying for us and sending us cards and, and just all the people who were there for uh, the visitation and, and the mass and it was, it was really overwhelming and I, I believe that it was um, really what, what, is, what continues to help us to deal with our loss. We miss David so much. They have been amazing, they've been loving, they've been kind, they've been thoughtful. Boys seem to always, and they come up, always bring flowers for Barbara. And you know, that's Northville High School, that's Catholic Central High School, that's Ladywood High School, it's Mercy High School, and other places too. And, and from what we see of these young people, we think there's a lot of hope for the future. The second annual David Wazinski Community Golf Classic Fundraiser, which supports numerous charitable organizations, will be held August 31st at Tanglewood Golf Club in South Lyon. You can find more information at davidliveson.com. Not a day goes by that a memory of David doesn't cross the minds of the people he's touched. You just saw flashes of greatness. He was just so raw and he was so innocent and he just wanted to go hard for his teammates. He wanted to go play hard for his brothers. And in our school, he was just kind of a big brother. Even though he was only a sophomore, he was a big brother to so many young men because he knew a lot of them from grade school or from CYO athletics. So just a, just a phenomenal kid. When a neighbor kindly donated $100 to David's siblings, Stephen and Emily, they knew exactly what to do with it. The two of them created a jacket for a young boy named Johnny who was challenged with Down syndrome and who David had mentored. They embroidered number 33 on the back and David's name on the front. Johnny wears it proudly in honor of his friend. I would say he was a faithful, Catholic Christian young man who worked really hard, who had a good heart, and who really cared about people and enjoyed life all along the way. His team continues to remember this quote, live every day like it's your last. One day, you'll get it right. I'm Kaliana Basukas for State Champs.